Welcome to block eight of the Ascot Quilt Along. Today's block is Duck and Ducklings. For this, you're going to need four two and a half by three inch rectangles, four three and a quarter by four and a quarter inch rectangles, and four three by three inch squares in background fabric. In fabric A, you're going to need one two and a half inch square and four two and a half by three inch rectangles. In fabric B, you're going to need two six by seven inch rectangles. And in fabric C, you're going to need four three and a quarter inch squares. You can make your very own sampler quilt with the nine block Ascot quilt along pattern. Scan the QR code or visit the website today. Let's get quilting. We're going to start by making the cat's cradle or sometimes known as the shaded four patch. And for this, we're going to need the six by seven inch rectangles, the three and a quarter by four and a quarter inch rectangles and the three and a quarter inch squares in fabric C. So for the cat's cradle, we need to join the square with the smaller of the rectangles. And we join that on the edge that measures three and a quarter inches. So I'm going to take that to the sewing machine and sew it with a quarter inch seam allowance. So now we need to press the seams by pressing them away from the squares. And now we need to join them together so that the seams are offset. So I'm going to take that to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch seam along the long edge. Now before we press these seams, we want to fold them in half like this and then snip down to that seam line at the halfway point. And then what that allows us to do is when we open it out, we can now press one seam in one direction and the other seam in the opposite direction. So I'm going to fold that in half. Then I'm going to snip down to that stitch line. So I'm going to set the seam 
and then I'm going to press away from the square in the same way as we did before, always pressing away from the square. So now you can see that the seams are being pressed in opposite directions, or at least that one seam is being pressed in two different directions. So I'm going to turn this round to the cutting side. And now on the wrong side, we need to draw two lines. So I've got my longer ruler and I'm going to line, the 45 degree line of the ruler is lined up against the edge of the unit. And then where the ruler, the ruler needs to intersect this stitch line here. So with my 45 degree angle lined up and the ruler intersecting where the stitches cross over, I'm going to draw a line. And then I'm going to rotate the unit and repeat on the other side. So I've got my 45 degree line here. I've got the ruler intersecting the stitch lines here. And I'm going to draw a line. Now this is a line that we're going to sew on. I'm going to repeat that with the other piece. Now we're going to place this right sides together with those large six by seven inch rectangles. I'm going to pop a pin in each corner. I'm going to take these over to the sewing machine and sew directly on top of those drawn lines. Now we're going to remove these pins. And now we're going to lay the ruler with the quarter inch line on top of your stitching. And you're going to cut a quarter inch away from the seam into this center section here. And you're going to turn the other unit round and repeat. and do the same on the other piece. And now the unit needs to be pressed. So I'm going to set the seams and I'm going to press towards the large triangle.
Now these units need to be trimmed. They need to be trimmed to five and a half inches square. So I'm going to grab my square ruler. So I'm going to line the 45 degree line on the ruler and I'm going to make sure that intersection is at two and six eighths, which is there. So I'm going to trim that. Then I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to line that 45 degree line up and that intersection is at two and six eighths. And we know it's right because this line here is at five and a half and this line here is at five and a half. So now I'm going to cut up and across the top. So I'm going to refer back to using the quilt in a day ruler. I'm going to fold these in half again. I'm going to pop the five and a half inch line on that stitch line and I'm going to make sure that where these two seams intersect that is on this line here. And then I'm going to trim up one side and down the other. I'm going to repeat that on my final one. So now we just need to cut those dog ears off. So these have now been trimmed five and a half inches and now you're able to add this flipped corner here. I'm just going to go back to my sketchbook and see what I wrote out for that. So you need the background fabric, the three inch square, and that's what I've got here. So what you need to do is draw a diagonal line on the wrong side of the three inch squares. And now you place them right sides together on the square in the corner here with the diagonal running in the same direction as this triangle piece here. I'm going to pop a pin either side of that line. And when you take it over to the sewing machine, you're going to sew directly on top of that line. So I'm going to take those over to the sewing machine. I'm now going to remove the pins. and then cut a quarter inch away from that sewn line so that this piece flips back. And now we're going to press.
So I'm going to set the seam and then I'm going to press towards the triangle. Now we're going to set it out in a block layout. So now in the block layout, I want to join the, these pieces together here. I'm going to take these over to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch seam along the short edge. So I'm going to press these towards the darker fabric. And now we're going to return them to the block layout. So now that they're in the block layout, we can sew the top row to the middle row. So I'm going to sew those with a quarter inch seam. I'm going to return these to block layout, but I'm not going to press them yet. I'm now going to sew the bottom pieces onto each column. I'm going to take those over to the sewing machine and sew with a quarter inch seam. So I'm laying these back out in the block layout and I think I'm going to press the um, seams in towards this column and out towards that column. I'm going to stitch the centre column onto one of the sides. Cutting up the seams.
I'm now going to set the seam and press towards that centre column. And now I'm going to pin the last column. Going to go back over to the sewing machine for the last seam of this block. I'm going to set the seam and then I'm going to press it towards that centre block. Then I'm going to give this a good press. Congratulations, you have made the duck and ducklings block. Thanks for watching and tune in next week for the last block of this quilt along. We will be making the combination star block.